we are we will welcome the, he is joining okay yeah i'm here yeah can you hi, hear me hi dr zen uh, we uh, welcome uh, Dr. Zen Beng. He is a professor of the School of Computer Science in uh, Fudan University in China. And we, uh, we, uh, he will uh, talk to us about large scale terrace analysis for microservice anomaly detection and root cause localization. So let us start with Dr. Zen. Can you see my slides? Not yet. You didn't yeah. share it yet. Oh, I let me try screen. Can you see my slides? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. No, 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 no. It is not shared yet. Uh, I have children share, share screen and the whole, I have choose to share the whole screen. Okay, maybe. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe I need to set the privacy. Chrome. So. Sorry, uh, I think I need to ground ground the some to change the ground. Chrome. Uh, I think Dr. Zembeng uh, may have a network uh, problem. We are fixing it and he will join in minutes. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yeah, and your screen is now shared. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so uh, I'm very happy to, to give a talk about large scale trace analysis for microservice uh, anomaly detection and uh, uh, root cause localization. So I'm Xin Peng from uh, Fudan University in China. Uh, so we are talking about a microservice architecture. Uh, it's a kind of architecture uh, style. So uh, a an, an microservice application includes a suite of small services, and each service uh, is running in its own process. For example, uh, the service can be de deployed in a container or in a virtual machine. And uh, different services can communicate with each other uh, using lightweight mechanisms such as uh, REST APIs. And the services are built around the business capabilities and uh, each service can be independently developed and uh, deployed. And uh, uh, different services can be uh, developed, developed using different uh, technology stacks, for example, using different uh, program programming languages and uh, using different uh, data storage technologies. Um, Microservice has been an uh, impo important part of the so-called cloud native uh, software together with the other three. Zen, you, uh, Dr. Zen, yeah? do you hear me? 
Sorry for interruption, but yes. can, can you share the, the uh, slides in uh, slideshow mode? Uh, just, just a slideshow, yeah. Yeah, this one work. It, uh, it, okay? It's all, it okay now? No, it is not in the slideshow mode. Uh, you mean uh, my slides is not in the full screen? Oh, make it full screen, yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. Okay, it works now? Yeah, now perfect. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so microservice has been an important part of the so-called cloud native uh, software uh, together with the, 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 uh, the other characteristics such as uh, DevOps, uh, continuous delivery and uh, containers. Uh, cloud native means that the design, implementation and the deployment of an application uh, fully exhibit the characteristic and uh, realize the benefits of cloud computing. Uh, we know that the essential uh, characteristics of uh, and also the benefits of cloud computing, is, uh, is including uh, this, they are highly distributed and uh, they are highly uh, elastic. And uh, according to IDC, by uh, 2022, 90% uh, of all new apps will feature microservice architectures and uh, 35 uh, percent of all production apps will be cloud native. And nowadays, we are uh, increasingly dep depending on uh, a wide variety of cloud services. But uh, at the same time, cloud services outage has been a has been a major uh, technical risk for online service vendors. Uh, for example, uh, in in 2021, millions of users were affected by the major Amazon uh, outage, and it, it, it is reported that the uh, estimated cost of the one-hour downtime for Amazon.com on the prime prime day uh, is uh, is up to uh, 100 million dollars. So, uh, for uh, the service render, uh, vendors, uh, they usually have the vision like uh, uh, faults can be detected in one minute localized in five minutes and solved in 10 minutes. Uh, so this kind of fault detection and uh, resolving is uh, very challenging uh, for large-scale microservice systems uh, due to their uh, complexity, uncertainty, and uh, dynamism. A microservice system can have hundreds to thousands of services, and each service has several to tens of thousands of instances. And uh, the service instances uh, can be created and uh, destroyed dynamically at the wrong time. And uh, for large-scale microservice system, uh, maybe per day there are uh, billions of uh, external requests uh, from the uh, different kinds of clients, and also maybe from the uh, partners, uh, something like this. And uh, each request, I mean the request from from the client or user. Uh, may involve several to hundreds of service uh, invocations. Uh, and uh, the uh, services uh, I, I mentioned just now, they are uh, they, 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 uh, they communicate with each other using uh, inter-process uh, communications, for example, uh, REST APIs, and also maybe uh, using some kinds of uh, message queues. And uh, uh, the uh, microservice systems um, usually involve very complex infrastructures and uh, configurations, uh, such as uh, virtual machines, containers, uh, databases, caches, and uh, message queues. So uh, it's nature that observability has been a very important property uh, for this kind of large-scale distributed system. Uh, observability means that uh, a measure of how well internal states of a system can be inferred from knowledge of its external uh, outputs. 
So it is generally uh, believed that uh, for distributed system, uh, the three uh, most important pillars for availability uh, are matrix, logging, and uh, tracing. Matrix is, is, a, is a, a kind of uh, aggregatable uh, time series uh, data. For example, we can uh, we can we can uh, monitor uh, the CPU consumption, uh, the the memory consumption. We can monitor the uh, the failure rate uh, of some kind of service or interfaces, something like this. So they are metrics. Uh, logs logs is a kind of uh, dis discrete events with time stamps. Uh, usually, for example, for, for application logs, uh, they are produced by those uh, logging statements written by uh, application developers, and also traces. Uh, traces uh, track the uh, request, uh, uh, the workflow, request workflow uh, through different uh, can, different services. For example, uh, if a user click a button uh, on on his uh, client, then a request is is sent to the to the uh, server side. Then uh, the request will 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 uh, incur a uh, service invocation chain. So uh, traces can uh, can record the whole workflow of that request through different uh, uh, services. And the availability can be well supported by Microsoft systems because uh, compared with the traditional so-called monolithic uh, software system, uh, Microsoft system has an in explicit uh, software architecture because uh, an, uh, Microsoft system, our application, consists of a set of uh, small grain uh, services and uh, each service, uh, the, those services are physically uh, isolated, so we can easily identify the uh, architecture uh, of a microservice system. But in contrast, for uh, the traditional uh, monolithic systems, uh, they consist of a set of modules. But uh, but uh, the modules uh, are just uh, maybe uh, uh, implemented on some kind of package or something like uh, others. They are, I think, they are. Uh, even logically isolated, not physically isolated. So uh, the architecture of the traditional monolithic uh, system or soft, uh, application is not so clear, or uh, we, we, we can say they have implicit software architecture, but Microsoft's service application or system has very clear and explicit software architecture. And the service, different services interact uh, using some kind of uh, uh, inter uh, process uh, communication, for example, REST APIs. So there, uh, the service interactions can also be very uh, can can be uh, explicitly captured and uh, and be uh, very clearly observed from from outside. And also, uh, Microsoft systems uh, are usually uh, online services systems, so they will uh, they they are, they are con continuously uh, running, and we can continuous, uh, continuously observe their behaviors. And also, uh, Microsoft systems usually have very good infrastructure. Uh, support such as uh, uh, distributed tracing frameworks. For example, according to our uh, experience and our uh, uh, our uh, discussion, the collaboration with the industries, uh, I think most of the uh, large scale uh, industry microservices have uh, have deployed their own uh, infrastructure. For example, for distributed tracing. So we are based on this kind of uh, infrastructure, we can easily get. Uh, different kinds of uh, observability data, for example, logs, traces, and the metrics. Uh, among those uh, the three pillars of observability, I think uh, distributed tracing uh, is is very important because it uh, records the execution flow uh, of a request uh, through different services, and also it can uh, link the other two kinds of observability data, uh, that is uh, logs and uh, metrics. Uh, usually, for industry uh, Microsoft system, usually uh, a Microsoft tracing and uh, analysis pipeline will be deployed to connect and uh, to connect uh, and uh, process uh, and anal analyze the traces. Uh, usually, we know that uh, the uh, the traces uh, initially uh, it will be recorded uh, in different service instances uh, in the form of a span log. Because we know uh, a trace consists of a series of spans. Each span is a hop in the request workflow. So each service instance can uh, we we make some local uh, logs uh, about the spans, and uh, then we can connect the span logs 
produced in different service instances together, and then we can combine them together to assemble them together to uh, to to per, to, to uh, produce uh, a complete traces. Uh, so uh, you can see this, this is uh, an example of the trace topology. It's, uh, it's, it has a tree structure. Uh, the spans has uh, can be connected to each other by their uh, relation, relations. Uh, you, you can see uh, in the span in the example of span log here, we can see uh, each span has a trace ID and a span ID and also a time stamp and also a parent span ID because uh, a, a, a span is, uh, uh, except the root span, uh, all the other spans can uh, be derived from uh, a parent span. So this kind of uh, relationship, a parent children uh, relationship uh, is also recorded in the span log. So based on this kind of relationships, we can uh, assemble, them, assemble the span together to uh, form uh, traces. Also, uh, for, for, for the traces, we can uh, use this kind of timeline uh, visualization uh, to check uh, the time range, range of, of different uh, service invocations. Uh, we can see uh, how, how, how much time uh, is, uh, is spent for uh, different uh, service invocations and which service invocation is the bottleneck, bottleneck of the whole trace, something like this. Uh, based on those uh, observability data, we can uh, we can uh, detect uh, the anomalies uh, in the in the microservice system and also to localize the root cause of the uh, detected faults. Uh, usually for large scale uh, uh, cloud services systems, uh, usually maybe there are different kinds of uh, incidents. Uh, for example, uh, user reported errors or failures. Maybe there are also high latency and the transaction, for example, uh, also maybe uh, the, 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 the business section, uh, we, are, we are notice that the transactions drop dra uh, dramatically in a short time. So we call them uh, incidents. So to reduce the, the, the uh, loss caused by this kind of incidents, we want to detect the anomalies. Uh, an anomaly means that uh, uh, some kinds of maybe rare events, behaviors, or observations which deviate uh, significantly from the normal. So we can we can uh, we can see uh, we we can uh, we, maybe we can uh, think that uh, uh, anomaly maybe is a kind of uh, early uh, early observation of some kinds of potential force. Uh, and uh, uh, usually the 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 company will uh, configure some alerts. Uh, so uh, the alerts we are uh, usually alert is associated is associated with uh, uh, predefined rules or several rules, and then uh, the system can report some potential force based on the detected uh, anomalies. For example, uh, you can configure rules uh, to 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 state that uh, if the the for example if the failure rate of a, of a service in, in, uh, interface. Uh, increases uh, dra dramat dramatically in a very short time, then alert will be generated. Uh, so uh, some uh, when, when alert is raised, maybe uh, it will be uh, assigned to an engineer to handle, then the engineer uh, need to localize the root cause uh, in a short time yeah, to reduce the, the, the loss. So several years ago, to learn the uh, industry uh, practice of uh, photo analysis and debugging, we conducted a, a survey. Uh, we conducted an industry survey. So uh, according to our survey, uh, we, we, we found that uh, in industry, uh, different kinds of uh, different kind of tools and techniques are used. Uh, for photo analysis and the debugging of microservice system. For example, uh, basic log analysis uh, is still uh, widely used. Uh, basic log analysis means that the engineer using some kind of command line tools to grab and analyze the log. log. For example, uh, when, uh, when, when they receive a report of uh, alert, uh, they will uh, use some keywords uh, to, 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 to search the, 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 the logs and uh, to try to uh, try to identify those uh, relevant uh, log fragments and uh, try to uh, localize some, try to find some hints about the, 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 the fault. That is the basic uh, log analysis. Uh, some engineers uh, will use uh, more advanced uh, uh, tools to uh, support the virtu virtual log analysis. Uh, they will use the ELK stack. Means, for example, uh, that means to uh, use uh, log stack for log connection 
uh, Elastic Search for log index uh, indexing and the retrieval, and they use uh, Kibana for visualization. Uh, you can you can see the figure here. Uh, for example, we can uh, we we can use the ERK stack to 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 uh, produce produce some uh, some kinds of uh, figures uh, like uh, visualization like this. You can see uh, different kinds of uh, log events. Uh, the number of different kinds of log events, then you can you can you you can you can uh, have uh, get some hints about the, the, the root cause of the of the force. Uh, also, we find that uh, uh, some companies uh, has uh, begun to to use the the visual visualization tool to analyze the traces. Uh, they will use both the ERK stack and also a trace visualization tools such as Zipkin. So you can see here the figure here. Uh, it shows a timeline uh, visualization of a trace. So you can see uh, uh, the how the trace is uh, it consists of uh, the, the the spines included in the trace and uh, the time range of different uh, span because each span corresponds to a certain invocation. Uh, then you, uh, for example, you, uh, you 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 want to diagnose the the root cause for a very uh, slow uh, response a uh, service response, then you can check the the timeline of the uh, trace and see how much time has been spent uh, for each service invocation and uh, which service invocation is the bottleneck. Uh, so uh, the interface survey I mentioned just now uh, was conducted, I think, maybe four years ago. Uh, nowadays, I think uh, the companies, I think, uh, are using more advanced uh, tools and even they develop their own uh, observability platform for uh, their, uh, for, 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 uh, their uh, Microsoft systems. Uh, for example, uh, in a in a uh, in a uh, in a practice shared by ByteDance, uh, ByteDance is a very uh, is a very big uh, internet uh, company in China. Uh, the, the engineers from ByteDance shared uh, one uh, their practice. So uh, in their platform, first uh, they will uh, still they will uh, configure some alert rules. For example, uh, maybe alert will be uh, is is rest. Uh, the alert the alert report that. Uh, the service uh, failure rate, uh, the failure rate of a service uh, continues to increase, and then the engineers will, will receive the, 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 the alert, and then the engineers can use the platform to check the also associated trace uh, with the service failures because uh, the service service uh, service failure rate uh, is is calculated based on some traces, so it's easy to uh, find the <coughs> associated uh, trace. Then using their <coughs> trace visualization tool, uh, the engineers can identify the 40 service invocation. They can check the uh, 40 trace and identify uh, suspicious service invocations. Uh, then uh, based on the suspicious service invocations, they can, uh, they can identify the uh, panic, pa panic log. That is uh, those uh, suspicious log fragments on the corresponding node. So in this way, they can uh, they can identify the corresponding so for, uh, because you know that the log fragments are produced by some uh, by, by the application code. So if they capture those uh, suspicious log fragments, maybe they can easily identify uh, the which which service and uh, which uh, method of of a, of, a, of a service uh, is the root cause of of this fault. Something like this. So that is uh, industry practice. Uh, in ac academia, researchers have, uh, in the past uh, several years, uh, the researchers have uh, conducted a series of uh, researches on <coughs> anomaly detection and also root cause uh, localization. Uh, there are some uh, researches on log anomaly detection. Uh, you can you, you can see a figure here. Uh, each each raw uh, log message is, uh, is uh, events. Uh, each log event has a, a timestamp, and also uh, it has some uh, instant part and also variable part. Uh, they are produced by usually, for example, the application logs are produced by the application uh, log uh, the logging statements written by the developers. Uh, so uh, in log analysis, usually we will first uh, extract uh, log events from raw log messages. Uh, we, we will uh, extract the log templates from the raw log messages, and then we can treat a, treat a log as a sequence of log uh, events. So you can see the log events here. Uh, we, uh, we, we, we abstract, uh, we abstract the, the, the uh, raw log messages that uh, have the following the same templates uh, into one uh, log event. 
So in this way, we can treat a log as a sequence of log events, and each log event maybe can, can occur several uh, multiple times. And then we can learn uh, log patterns from, from uh, normal execution. Uh, for example, use deep learning uh, models such as LSTM, LSTM. And then we can detect anomalies when log patterns deviate from the trained model. Also, we can do a trace anomaly detection. Uh, we can treat a trace as a sequence of uh, service invocation. But I mentioned just now, a, a trace can, be, uh, can have a very complex structure. Uh, consisting of many uh, spans. So, uh, treat a trace of the sequence of service invocations, I think is a, uh, is a simple, uh, is, is a simplified uh, treatment of, of the trace. Then uh, we can learn also uh, in a similar way, we can learn trace patterns from normal execution and detect anomalies when uh, trace patterns deviate from the trained model. Uh, but we, uh, we should note that uh, we need to combine uh, locks and the traces together because uh, locks re represent the intro service behavior. It records the, for example, locks are produced by different methods in your code. Uh, so in each service, uh, when a service when a, serv uh, when a service is uh, invo invocated, uh, the executed method will produce some locks. So the locks uh, records records the uh, intro service uh, behavior, and the traces record the inter service behavior because traces uh, record the, the service uh, record the service invocation chain uh, for for requests. So we need to combine them together and uh, consider the complex structures of traces uh, because, uh, as I mentioned just now, a trace uh, can have a very complex structure, uh, including a, a invocation hierarchy, and also there are uh, parallel and uh, uh, unsynchronous uh, invocations in the trace. Uh, so, uh, in the following slides, I will introduce three of our, uh, our recent uh, uh, works. The first work uh, is a joint work with eBay. With eBay. Uh, so, uh, when we collaborated with eBay, they told us that uh, uh, each day, they, they, their system can produce uh, billions to hundreds of billions of traces per day. Uh, each day, so we can see it's a very, uh, it's a very huge number of uh, traces. So it's very hard to analyze those traces because there are too many. Uh, even they, they uh, uh, and also a trace sampling is is widely used because the number of traces is very, very huge and uh, uh, not uh, not every. Uh, trace is useful because you know that most of the traces maybe just repeat the same behaviors. So we can do trace sampling. Uh, even a trace sampling is used, the number of traces connected for analysis is still very huge. So uh, in this work, uh, we try to aggregate aggregate the traces together. Uh, then we can uh, analyze the traces at uh, not at the, uh, the the initial trace level, but at uh, after uh, but but uh, make uh, do trace analysis based on the uh, aggregated uh, traces. So uh, this uh, this figure gives the meta model uh, for our aggregated uh, trace analysis. You, you can see uh, each service can uh, provide several uh, operations, and uh, uh, each trace can include a series of spans, and uh, each span evokes uh, operation, and also a span has uh, his parent. And uh, uh, each, 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 uh, each tra uh, because we know that uh, there are many traces that, that, that are sharing, uh, sharing the same uh, topology. That means that, uh, for example, there are two traces, uh, their topology is the same, exactly the same. That means that uh, their, uh, the services and uh, the services, uh, uh, their services are the same. And also the, the orders of the service invocation are also the same. So we, we call them have the same uh, topology. So in, at the first level of aggregation, we can aggregate the traces by trace uh, topology. That means that the, those traces uh, with exactly the same uh, trace topology will be combined together, uh, will be grouped in together. So we call it a parsing. So uh, a pass means a set of traces uh, having the same trace, pop, uh, pop, uh, trace uh, topology. So uh, even we have done this kind of aggregation, the number of parses is still very huge. So uh, we we have the second level aggregation. We further aggregate the parses uh, into business flows. Uh, business flow means that uh, uh, be some kinds of business treatment. Uh, the the big the business flows are generated uh, by uh, aggregating the parses uh, based on key service. Key service means a set of uh, key services. So all the parses that share 
a small set of key services will be aggregated together. So we can uh, better explain the idea here uh, using this example. So you can see this is an example for the business flow of placing order. You know, placing order is a very uh, common business for 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 uh, for this kind of online shopping system. Uh, here we have two parses. Uh, part part one uh, is red. Part uh, three, uh, part two uh, is uh, green here. Uh, part one is for guest checkout. Part two is for registered uh, uh, register uh, user checkout. So you can see uh, the uh, part part one, the, the red uh, part here, uh, includes a set of uh, parses. But all the uh, parses share exactly the same uh, topology, and uh, pass two uh, is similar. Is similar for pass two. Uh, pass one and pass, pass two share some key services. For for this business flow placing order, uh, we define the key services uh, set to be the create order. It means that uh, we, uh, whatever other services are invoked, uh, only uh, uh, if if order service uh, if create create order uh, is uh, this, this uh, create order service is included in the parse, we 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 can aggregate it together because we can say uh, this parse is related to place, placing order because create order is is included in this in the in the in the traces. So part one and part two can be aggregated together uh, because they share the key service create order. Then we can get the business flow placing order. So in this way, uh, given a, a huge number of traces, we uh, and we can use the the, the two uh, levels of aggregation I mentioned just now. Then we can. Uh, we can we can analyze the traces uh, in an efficient way. So this is uh, this is a uh, uh, aggregated trace analysis pipeline deployed in eBay. So we can see uh, we use the open tracing. Open tracing is a, a specification and also a really framework for distributed tracing. Then we get spines and we use Kafka to collect the, the spines. Then uh, we uh, pro process the spines to assemble them into traces. Uh, we combine two kinds of storage. One is Near4j. Near4j is a graph uh, database. And uh, Jude. Jude is a, a kind of uh, analysis, uh, analytics uh, database. Uh, why we com uh, I think the, the, the uh, key, a key here is a combination of the uh, graph database and the uh, analytical uh, database. Because uh, in some cases, we need, we need to do some graph query. For example, uh, uh, one engineer will say, uh, we, I want to check. I want to uh, check all the traces uh, that pass uh, 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 these two uh, services. So this kind of query is about uh, it can be efficiently uh, processed, uh, handled by graph database. But uh, uh, at the same time, uh, we need to do some kind of uh, for, uh, we need to cal calculate some kind of aggregated uh, metrics. Uh, for this kind of calculation, uh, analytics uh, database is uh, is very efficient. So we combine them together. That means that uh, uh, we 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 uh, store the graph structures of the uh, aggregated parses and the business flows in the graph database that is uh, near for j in our implementation. And at the same time, we use the uh, trace ID and all or other IDs to uh, to uh, reference to re to, uh, to make references to the corresponding record in the uh, analytics database uh, that is Jude in our current application, uh, our current implementation. So in this way, we can support the uh, graph-based query and also the uh, aggregation uh, matrix uh, at the same time. Uh, so uh, here uh, we give some example for the, uh, the for the uh, trace analysis. Uh, so uh, in this work, uh, in this work, the the the, the, the tour uh, finally the tour is presented in uh, in a kind of visualization uh, tour for for the engineers. For example, uh, the engineers can check the bit can compare the business flows for monitoring the changes of metrics and trace uh, uh, topology. For example, uh, in the top figure here, you can see there are green and uh, a red uh, red uh, books here. The red books means that the, the, the metrics, some some quality metrics, is is getting uh, uh, worse. The green the green box means that the metrics is better and better. So in this way, uh, we, we can see maybe you you should uh, notice uh, these parts because these parts the metrics in 
uh, in the services uh, of these parts uh, are, are, are all red, something like this. We can also uh, monitor the change of the topology. Uh, for example, maybe the the, the uh, de development team uh, makes some uh, uh, new new uh, new makes some updates of the online systems, and then maybe we can see there are maybe some new uh, trace topology may appear. Uh, or uh, also uh, a new uh, trace topology may mean some kind of force. Because, uh, for example, if a, a service invocation fails, then maybe uh, it will produce some uh, traces with new topology because uh, uh, some uh, because some uh, service invocation fails, and that means that uh, uh, some uh, service invocation will not appear in the trace, something like this. Uh, also, we can uh, analyze the error uh, propagation chain uh, based on this kind of visualization. Uh, because we, uh, uh, based on the aggregation, we can uh, clearly see the, the, the aggregated parses and the business flow, and uh, we can combine with the uh, um, with some metrics, for example, we can calculate uh, how many uh, errors, for example, exceptions have been raised uh, during a time. Then we can see maybe there's a continuous uh, path uh, in this uh, business flow. That means, for example, uh, here are three uh, services uh, here, create order, update uh, inventory, and the verify inventory. Uh, all of them are in red. Uh, it means that uh, there's some error uh, count there, there are some errors uh, reported uh, for them. So we can see there maybe there's an error propagation chain. So the second work uh, is a joint work with Alibaba. Uh, Alibaba is a very uh, big internet service, uh, internet company in China. Uh, so in this work, we, uh, we, we, uh, this work we, we developed a technique to support the root cause of localization for uh, avail availability uh, issues. Uh, so our basic idea is to uh, analyze the possible uh, anomaly propagation chains from the entry node. Uh, the entry node means the initial uh, anomalous service. Uh, for example, when a, when a fault is reported, for example, that is maybe the uh, the number of uh, successful transactions drop dramatically. So uh, usually we, we, we will have uh, have an initial uh, initial uh, anomalous service as the entry node for this uh, uh, root cost localization. Then from the entry node, we can uh, traverse the service core graph uh, along anomalous service course to localize the root causes. So we dynamically uh, construct a service core graph. Uh, so note that the service core graph, uh, service core graph here is not generated by static analysis because uh, uh, microservice system is a highly distributed system, uh, including a set of services uh, distributed services, so uh, static uh, analysis cannot help. So we uh, we dynamic uh, construct this service call graph uh, based on the runtime uh, monitoring. For example, uh, based on the traces, we can know uh, which uh, service uh, calls uh, another service. Uh, so for example, we can uh, uh, for 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 two services, if they uh, one uh, service calls the, uh, the other, maybe for example in the recent uh, uh, half half an hour, then maybe we can add. Uh, 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 service core uh, return shift in this graph. So this service core graph is constructed dynamically at the wrong time. Uh, then we have an entry pole, entry node here. So the, 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 the problem here is that how do we can traverse the service core graph to identify the root cause. Uh, for different kinds of availability issues, the propagation uh, direction are different. For example, for performance and the reliability anomalies, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the fault uh, the fault is uh, uh, is propagated from uh, downstream to upstream, uh, but uh, for traffic uh, anomaly, uh, the the uh, for traffic anomaly, it is uh, prop uh, propagated from the upstream to downstream. So for different kinds of anomalies, we we, we follow different directions uh, in the in the in the uh, in the traversing. Uh, so the, some key steps here. First, we will follow the uh, opposite uh, directions of possible anomaly uh, propagation directions. Uh, second, we will continuously detect whether our service is, is anomalous in terms of certain quality metrics using different uh, models. Uh, we, we also use some machine learning models here. For example, we will monitor uh, the, the, uh, the service uh, fail rate and also the service response time. Uh, of, a, of a service, then we will some uh, we will train some uh, machine learning model to uh, to detect whether uh, the uh, the service is anomalous. Uh, 
then we all we also adopt a prompting uh, strategy because you know that the service core graph can be very very big and uh, uh, i mentioned just now uh, we want to localize the, the, the fault in a very short time for example in three minutes or five minutes so we need uh, the 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 the, the uh, through the cost localization uh, technique should be very efficient so we adopt a prompting a prompting strategy to uh, eliminate uh, alumni service core edges that are irrelevant to the current alumni prop propagation chain and finally we can write because uh, uh, based on the, 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 the above steps we can have uh, a set of candidate root courses so then finally we will rank the uh, candidate root courses uh, based on the core relations between their quality metrics and the business metrics of the entry uh, node so the third work uh, is a joint work uh, with uh, Microsoft Research uh, in Asia. Uh, this work is a, is a trace log combined Microsoft anomaly detection work. Uh, because I mentioned just now, uh, logs record the intro service behaviors, but they are scattered in different service instances because uh, each uh, service instance uh, uh, records its own uh, logs. Uh, locally, so the logs uh, of, of a distribute uh, of a Microsoft system is dis uh, scattered in different service instances, and the traces record the inter-service interactions. Uh, they can connect different service uh, instances, um, and the, a trace can have a complex structure formed by the hierarchy of service invocations and the parallel and the, uh, synchronized invocations. So we design a trace event graph. Uh, to provide a unified graph representation to de describe the to describe the complex structure of a trace together with log events embedded uh, in the structure. Uh, so you can see here uh, uh, each uh, dot, dotted uh, box means a spine, and uh, because uh, uh, in 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 industries in, in some countries uh, such as uh, bad dance, they already uh, have uh, linked uh, logs and uh, traces. For example, in each print, print uh, in each log, log event, uh, the trace ID, uh, the uh, the relevant uh, the associated trace trace ID is also recorded in the logs. So we can uh, we can link traces and the the logs. So each log uh, event is produced during a span a span corresponding to a service invocation. So in this way, we can have a unified graph representation to describe the complex structure of a trace together with log events embedded in the structure. Uh, then we uh, then we 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 uh, designed a, a approach for uh, this kind of trace log combined microservice anomaly detection. Uh, first, uh, we will uh, do log parsing. Uh, we will parse the input logs and uh, extract uh, log events from the log messages. Then, uh, at the same time, we will do trace parsing. We will trace the input traces and convert their spines into spine events, uh, which will be analyzed together with log events. Then we combine them together and uh, uh, do uh, event embedding. Uh, event embedding generates a vector represent representations for span events and uh, uh, log uh, events. Uh, then we will uh, we will construct a trace event graph for each trace to represent the various relationship between the uh, log events and the span events of the trace. And then we will train a uh, GDNs. Uh, based a deep SVD, uh, SVDD model, which learns a, a latent representation for each uh, TG. TG means the uh, trace event graph, and uh, then uh, we will we will learn a uh, minimized uh, hyper, hypersphere that includes uh, the representations of the TGs. So finally, we can do a, a, a normal detection. Uh, by determining uh, whether a trace is anomalous based on its anomaly uh, score. Uh, the anomaly score uh, is calculated uh, based on the shorted distance from the latent representation of its TG to the uh, hypersphere. And uh, I want to mention here, we uh, develop and share uh, an open source Microsoft benchmark called Trend Ticket on, on uh, GitHub. Uh, it is, I think, is a is a median, uh, median scale uh, Microsoft uh, system, uh, including uh, more than uh, seventy services developed in different languages, and uh, and uh, uh, among them uh, there are thirty infrastructure services, for example, service discovery and and others. 
And uh, we also replicate uh, 22 industry of photo cases based on our industry survey. And uh, the, 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 this system is developed by following industry uh, Microsoft applications and actively uh, maintained. Uh, we will release a new uh, we, 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 will, we will release a new version of this system uh, in the following uh, one or two months. And uh, this system has been widely used in Microsoft and AI Ops research. So conclusion, uh, allopoly detection and the root cause localization are challenging for large-scale large Microsoft systems due to their complexity, uncertainty, and dynamism. And the trace analysis has been an important means for allopoly detection and the root cause localization by linking metrics and uh, logs. Our future work, well, in our future work, we will, uh, we will consider to design more comprehensive and systematic model to capture the interactions and the fault propagations between different services and the different levels. And also, we will, uh, we will consider uh, to design more uh, intelligent trace analysis uh, combined with logs and the metrics. Also, we will incorporate different kinds of knowledge uh, into learning-based approaches. Okay, that, that's all. Thanks. Thank you very much, Dr. Shen, for uh, your uh, talk and sharing your uh, practical experience with us. It was very useful. Uh, we are already at the end of the session, but we can take uh, one or two questions if uh, any one of the attendees have any questions for Dr. Shen. Okay, thank you, Dr. Shen.